Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back today for a lip product review. I haven't done one of these in so long, but there hasn't really been any lip formulas that have enticed me for quite some time um, until recently. So MAC have released a range of Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Lipsticks. I bought two of these uh, and in this video I'm going to do two days worth of like wear tests um, so I can show you how a nude wears and also how a bright bright sort of orangey red wears. So I recently ordered these online when they were doing um, a lipstick day, is that what it was? Like sort of giveaway. So um, I ended up getting a free Honey Love lipstick so that was great and also I ended up spending over a certain amount and I got a free Glow Play lip balm in the shade that's Tickles which is what I'm wearing today so it's a really beautiful sort of muted brownie lip balm really really pretty so I ordered these online and I really struggled finding good swatch photos um, I feel like they're new enough to not have many swatches online um, so I ended up just sort of hoping for the best and picking a nude shade this is over the taupe which I'm glad I actually picked that up online because when I then later went in store and um, swatched a lot of the shades this one was sold out every store that I went to. Um, I also got the shade Hot Paprika, which is a really, really vibrant orangey red. Um, I went for the orangey red because I've got a lot of reds, um, but a lot of like really, really orange toned reds I don't have too many of. So I thought one's really wearable and one is slightly different from what I have, but also something that I would enjoy wearing. Um, now they do have 12 shades available and a lot of them are sort of a new formula of existing shades. So they've got a new version of Ruby Woo. I think it's called Ruby New. They've got a new version of Lady Danger. And then a lot of their other shades they've got um, were either from their Powder Kiss range or from their like the liquid powder kiss range. So some really popular shades have been brought back into this formula, which is really, really interesting. And I have to say swatching the Ruby New if I like this formula, I'm going to go buy that because it was really beautiful um, swatched. A lot of the other shades were very, very similar. There's a lot of um, brownie rosy tone nudes. So um, I do recommend checking them out in store if you can, because the nuances between them are very, very slim. So the description on the MAC website, it says soft has never looked so bold with powder kiss velvet blur slim stick. Experience moisture match the MAC with 12 hours of on trend mega bold color and ultra weightless wear in a single velvet soft swipe. It also says the more you powder kiss, the softer, smoother and suppler your lips with full coverage shades that hydrate lips instantly and over time. Designed for all day wear and care, introduce your lips to Powder Kiss's Bolder Sister. So what I'm getting from that is that it's actually going to be hydrating. It's going to look after my lips over time, not dry them out, fingers crossed. And also it's designed to be more pigmented and more bold than their other bullet lipsticks, their Powder Kiss lipsticks. So I do really like the packaging of these. I love a good slim lipstick. I feel like the more pigmented a lipstick is, the better it is in like a slim packaging because it means you can get a more precise line without it um, sort of going over your lip line and looking messy. So a smaller bullet I think does really work well for more intense lipsticks. So in the swatches you'll see Hot Paprika. So that is a really beautiful sort of vibrant, almost uh, orangey corally red shade. Uh, and then I've also got Over the Taupe, which looks quite rosy to me. It looks a little bit like it's got terracotta tones, but compared to the rest of the range, this is a lot more brown. Um, the other nudes are very, very pink, very, very orange tones. So um, yeah, this is the coolest uh, nude lip in the range. Now this is supposed to be a more pigmented version of the Powder Kiss. I do have quite a lot of Powder Kiss lipsticks. I've got like six of them here. Um, and I'm just going to have a look because these actually look like they don't swatch very bold, but then they look a little bit more bold on the lips. So this is actually Lasting Passion. It actually looks more pigmented than that one. Um, that's interesting. Again, maybe because I've used this a few times, um, it's a little bit more warmed up, um, but it actually doesn't look... Yeah, that looks more pigmented. And then I've got uh, Teddy 2.0, which is a really lovely um, Velvet Kiss version of Velvet Teddy, which I love. Again, it's it's obviously lighter. So if you wanted to know the difference between Over the Taupe and Teddy 2.0, they look like they've got a similar sort of tone, like brownie, rosy tone, but one's lighter and one's a bit more deep. Um, I'm just curious to see, because on my hand, they look like they could be the same formula. So I'm, 
I'm interested. All right, I'm just gonna begrudgingly take off this lip balm because it's beautiful. And if you got it for free while you ordered from MAC, go you good thing, because it is beautiful, I love it. But I think the one I'm gonna test today is Over the Taupe and I'm gonna try Hot Paprika tomorrow. All right, let's get you in close and have a look. So one swipe should be enough pigment, should be quite highly pigmented. Look, it's nice. I just wanna swipe it again. Look, it doesn't build up that much. So I feel like the one swipe is gonna get you this um, bold enough effect. I don't think it's opaque, but it doesn't claim to be opaque to be fair. All right, the finish is really beautiful. It almost looks like a natural lip. It looks like a little bit hydrated, but it's not shiny. Feels really nice. It's got that MAC vanilla scent, which I really like. It's very thin on the lips. Sometimes their matte lipsticks feel quite heavy on the lips. This is very, very thin. Um, feels like I'm wearing a lip balm, so it definitely has moisture to it. The shade is a really beautiful rosy nude. It's just a little bit of a step up from um, MAC Velvet Teddy or two, Teddy 2.0. Um, I think this is really beautiful. I don't regret buying this. I think this is a really classic shade. Um, I've been watching Bridgerton lately and I feel like I could be in Bridgerton with my weird curly fringe and this lip. I think it's really, really beautiful. What I'm gonna do is not eat or drink for the next couple of hours so we can come back and see how it's wearing just naturally. And then um, I'll probably have some lunch and then check in and show you how it's wearing after I've eaten. And then I'll just keep checking in until it's off my lips. And I'll do the same thing with the red tomorrow. But this is, I like the color. I think I chose really well and I'm tempted to buy more if this wears well, cause it's very pretty and looks really natural and really um, like healthy lips, really comfortable. All right, so it's quarter past one. I don't have my phone, my kids got it, but um, this has been on for nearly three hours, about two hours, 45 minutes, and it looks perfect. It feels still really comfortable, really hydrating. Um, the color looks amazing, I'll zoom in. The color still looks nice and even across all the lips. It looks hydrated, but it's not fading down. It's very comfortable. It almost looks like I just put it on but I haven't eaten or had anything to drink and I'm starving. So I am going off and doing that now and I'll check back in later and we can see how it's wearing through food. All right, it is just shy of three o'clock. So I ate around an hour and a half ago um, and this has been on for four and a half hours. Now, it's definitely still on, yes, but it is fading down. I, I don't blame it though. For lunch, I did have like a really melty, cheesy toasted cheese and tomato sandwich. And it was literally like biting in and like the cheese was like dripping down. So <laughs> I don't know how a lip product's gonna survive that. Uh, which is also why I'm gonna do two lip like wear tests in this video, the red and the nude. So this is still on, it's looking quite even. I'll zoom in a bit. It's looking a lot rosier, I feel like. Um, might be the lighting. But I feel like, I think as it's wearing down, it's sort of enhancing my natural lip tone. Um, and it's looking, like it still looks like I've got something on my lips. My lips still look nice. It still looks healthy. It still feels really nice. Doesn't feel as balmy as it did before, but it feels like I've got remnants of a balm. That's, all, that's the best way I can describe it. Um, so yeah, it's still on there and it's still a nice amount of color and it's not wearing off patchy, which is great. All right, it's just after five o'clock. So this has been on for what, like six and a half hours. Um, there's, looks like there's nothing left on my lips to be fair. We have had family over, so there's been like chips and crackers and coffee and stuff. So I have been snacking. Um, my lips feel fine. Like they don't feel dry. They didn't wear off funny. There's no, no issues. I've just got some micellar water on a tissue, so I'm gonna see if there's anything left on my lips. Really not much. So it did almost entirely wear off um, through eating. So yeah, not 12 hours, but um, I am quite happy with how the lipstick looked initially and also how it faded down. It wore off in a really natural way and at all points it looked quite nice and flattering. So. I'll be back tomorrow applying the other color. All right, time to try the next lipstick. I feel like I'm even sicker than I was yesterday. Hooray, and I'm starting this late again. So it is now quarter to 11. I was like, I'm gonna do this early. So if it lasts 12 hours, 
Well, if it lasts 12 hours, then I'm going to be checking in at 11 p.m. tonight. But I'm trying on hot paprika. I'm going to zoom in. Let's see how this looks on the lips. I'm kind of ready for a pick-me-up. I'm feeling kind of shit. <laughs> it's going to match my nails. So let's put this on. Pretty colour. All right, so it's a very pretty color. It um, has almost like a white tone to it. So like compared to my, my nails, which are like a orangey red, you can see that that looks more bold. Whereas this has like a pastel-y sort of element to it. I think that's to make it look more vibrant. I feel like to make something look a little bit neon, it's got to have like some white pigment to it. Um, I think for me, I'm just a bit, curious how this is more pigmented than the powder kiss range in general so i've got uh style shocked here which is the powder kiss it's an orangey toned red and i feel like i feel like this is more pigmented is it just me so this is hot paprika it's a lighter color but i would i don't feel like this is an amped up version of the powder kiss that's my sort of first impressions of applying it going off pure memory of using powder kiss i think maybe this is a little bit more hydrating on the lips um but i don't think it's anything i just feel like it's just in a different bullet form all right it's been an hour since i last put this on i have not eaten or had anything to drink uh, I have been filming this whole time, so I've been talking, 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 and it's looking perfect. Some lipsticks I've tested before, um, as you talk, they do migrate and move and wear off on the inner portion. This one hasn't been doing that, um, but, you know, the challenge is when I eat or drink. i am got a huge hankering for a cup of tea, so um, I'm going to eat something and check back in, in a few hours time all right this is a bit of a surprise so it is just after two so it's been on for over three hours and about two hours since i've eaten so this is through eating no touch-ups granted i didn't eat anything particularly greasy like i did yesterday so um it hasn't worn down the lipstick as much as it did the taupe one but this is wearing fairly well so you can see that's wearing down just slightly on the inner parts of my mouth um but nothing major this is still looking nice and bold i still don't think it's going to last 12 hours but um it's wearing well through sort of non-greasy eating um so i have a bit of hope for this i like it so far so I'll, yeah i'll keep you updated when anything changes um but this is a nice pleasant surprise a lot of red lipsticks will start to wear down patchy or wear down un unevenly. This is fading down quite nicely at the three hour mark post eating. So happy. All right, so it is now nearly 5.30. Um, so I've had this on for quite some time. I don't remember when I put it on. I'll have the time hours up in the corner. And I'm gonna say, look, it is wearing much better than the taupe one did yesterday. Uh, it's starting to fade off, but again, it's starting to fade off fairly evenly. It's not feeling super dry. Like I think if you had really dry lips, this would feel a bit dry for you. But uh, if you've got normal lips, it's it's fine. I've just been at my local pub watching a band, uh, eating some hot chips. So this has been exposed to greasy food and it's holding up fairly well. All right, up close, this is wearing quite well. You can see that it is starting to wear down on the inner part of my lips and it looks like it's wearing down a little bit more on this side than that side. I probably favor, I don't know, this side more with eating. I don't know. I don't know why. So even though it looks a little bit patchy um, and a little bit worn off close up, I think far back it looks fine. So the wear test will continue because we still have wear to do. So let's, let's see how it's going. All right, time to talk about my last check-in, which was at the 11 hour mark with the hot paprika shade. Um, Look, I was sick and I lost my voice, so I couldn't talk through it. But essentially, it did actually wear until 11 hours. Now, I was hoping to make it to 12, but I was feeling really horrible. So I want to take my makeup off and go to bed. But at the 11 hour mark, I was confident that it was going to wear for another hour um, just based on how it was looking. I think it was looking really, really nice and even. Yes, it had faded down a bit, 
but it still gave a nice vibrancy to the lips. You could still see the sort of um, neon sort of corally color that it gave. And um, yeah, it didn't wear off patchy, which was really beautiful. So um, I was sort of really surprised at how it wore because I wasn't expecting it at all. Um, but I was also really pleasantly surprised and it really made me um, reevaluate what I think about these. Another thing that I wanted to mention, um, because I didn't really talk about this at all throughout the wear tests, these do transfer. So they're the type of lip product that if you, you know, drink something, eat something, a little bit will transfer, but they're not the type of lipstick that will smear around your face. Um, and they're also not the type of lipstick that are going to set down really, really dry and matte. So they're sort of in between, which means they're comfortable. Um, but they do fade down throughout the day. But as you can see with the red one, um, they, they fade down quite slowly, which is great. So what I ended up doing the next day was wearing the original Powder Kiss lipstick formula to see how well they last compared to this new version. Now I'll have photos on the screen. The red that I chose, which I also have the name on the screen, so I don't know it off the top of my head. That was an orangey red color, so it was a similar color to Hot Paprika. And when I did swatch these on my hand um, in one of the last check-ins, this shade actually looked a lot more bold than Hot Paprika. But for some reason on the lips, it looks a little bit more sheer and doesn't look as pigmented and also didn't wear as long or anywhere close to as long. This wore off after lunch, so it only really lasted a few hours. Um, it looked nice throughout that time. It faded down quite naturally, but it didn't wear 11, 12 hours like Hot Paprika did. So even though the hand swatch comparison made it look like Hot Paprika was less pigmented, um, it actually was more pigmented on the lips and did last significantly longer, like double the time. So there is a big difference between these and the original Powder Kiss, which I wasn't expecting it to be so dramatic, but it is. So overall, what do I think about the new MAC uh, Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick Formula? Firstly, I like the packaging. I think it looks cool. Um, I like the application, the thinner tube makes it a lot more precise, which I want to see more brands do it. I think it's um, a really good format. It also looks really luxe and high end. So even though it's only a few dollars more expensive than um, the original lipstick formulas, uh, you definitely feel like you're getting a little bit of a, a higher end experience. With the Powder Kiss original formula, even though it is comfortable, it does have a little bit of a powdery grit to, to it. These feel more like a balm lipstick hybrid, but they have like a satin effect on the lips. So I do think these are more hydrating. I don't think they're hydrating all day, um, like MAC claim they are. I feel like it gets to a certain point, maybe like the six hour mark where your lips start to feel normal or slightly dry. Um, so there was a stage where I wanted to sort of reach for a lip balm. So if you have really, really dry lips, but you like the effect of a matte lipstick, I think you will like these. These will be comfortable on you, but I don't think they'll be comfortable all day. I think you'll get to like the three hour mark and be like, I want to put some lip balm on. Um, so I don't think these are as hydrating as MAC claim they are, but they are very comfortable. When MAC says that these are like the pigmented, bolder version of the Powder Kiss, I have come to realize that they are, but I think with the shades that I chose, especially with Hot Paprika being almost like a pastel-y sort of vibe to it, um, I didn't see it initially. These aren't super opaque on the lips, um, and I don't think these are as opaque as some of their other formulas, like their traditional matte bullet lipstick. So I, when I try these, I'm like, these aren't actually that pigmented. What are you talking about? But compared to Powder Kiss, they are a lot more pigmented, so I'll give them that. I was surprised with the longevity. Of course, the nude doesn't wear anywhere near the 12 hour mark, and I did also wear it this morning to retest it. And again, after lunch, it almost completely worn down and I had to reapply, which is not a big deal. Like I feel like the over the taupe shade, it's one of those shades that if you want to have it on all day, you just have to reapply it after lunch and it will last all day. Um, whereas the red will last you without a, a reapplication, which is, um, sort of lives up to the claim, but not all shades are going to do that. And I, I think also because the majority of the shades are nude, they're pinkier nudes, sort of orange, orangey nudes, um, peachy nudes. I feel like those aren't going to wear anywhere near the 12 hour mark. But if Hot Paprika, which is more of that pastel -y red, um, last on me comfortably 11 hours with no issues, 
Um, I have no doubt saying that Ruby New or Devoted to Danger, which are more vibrant or more darker reds compared to this, um, I'm sure that they will easily, easily, easily last the 12 hours um, that they claim. So the really dark, bold colors are gonna get there. The nudes aren't, but I definitely think these are a good step up from the Powder Kiss. If you like the Powder Kiss formula, but you wanted something that just has a little bit more oomph, a little bit more moisture, a little bit more pigmentation, and a little bit more longevity, these are a really great option. I think it took me a while to figure that out. Like I had to revisit the Powder Kiss range and be like, oh, how do these wear? How do these feel? How opaque are these on the lips? Um, to actually realize how different these happen to be. So I prefer these. The one downside, in my opinion, is, okay, they're a little bit more expensive, but I think it's worth the extra few dollars. But the range of 12 is so limited. Um, there's a lot of sort of repetitiveness with the nudie, warm nudes, uh, pinky nudes, peachy nudes. There's nowhere near as much variety um, in this new range as there is in the Powder Kiss. So um, if you've got a particular shade in mind, you might struggle finding it in this formula at the moment. But I do recommend checking them out in store, having a swatch. Um, and if you do like the Powder Kiss range, you will probably really enjoy this one as well. And this nude, I love it. Like I've been wearing it all day and um, I just feel like it fades down so naturally and so in such a flattering way that at all stages of it, I really like the lipstick. I like it bold. I like it half worn off. I even like it when it's virtually on. It just gives the lips a little bit of color, a little bit of a tint. So um, yeah, this is a new formula that I, I'm really enjoying. All right, so that's it. If you've tried these, let me know what you think about them. Um, what shades did you pick up? What shades are you interested in? And I will see you in the next one. Bye.